This video is how you can use support and resistance lines to help you in trading. The resistance line here is the psychological barriers. That's the biggest part of trading is the psychological uh, things that happen. I anchor it right here and it goes down. There's a downtrend right here. Here's the support line. Anchor it right here and it goes up two points to anchor to and away it goes. Notice the support right here. It bounces right here. This is a very important point here in this uh, forming triangle that's formed up here. It's an important part of trading. I'll show you how I come up with these lines here in just a second here. This line right here is the price line, but it's on the close. I have found that this works out pretty good for determining where your support and resistance are. Anchor it right here to start, and it goes along here. It'll go down below that, uh, break support, but it bounces right back up. Cruise along here, here's support, support. I anchored the close here on the resistance. This is also part of the trend line right here. Goes down right here, breaks out right here. Terrific move. Here's the upper level resistance line. Goes along here. Uh, one thing you have to keep in mind, some traders don't go by this, but I do. There's nothing exact in trading. This is a resistance here. Comes up, bounces off, goes down, comes up, bounces back down. Uh, keep an eye on this right here. Okay, I'll go back to the candle bars and show you how this thing works out. And now remember, I still use price patterns as a way of trading, or I did. I keep forgetting I'm not a trader anymore, but I use price patterns. They're actually, to me, a gold mine. Uh, you can find them just about in any uh, market. This particular one here, sugar, is a real good one. Um, each point is about $11.20, but this holds in the Forex uh, commodities or futures and also stock markets. Support resistance is a big part in that. Um, you have to keep in mind you need your, uh, when you get a breakout, you've got to have confirmation with an indicator of some sort. I use the MACD, there's stochastics, RSI, a number of uh, ones. When it bounces off here, bounces off there, strong resistance. When it breaks out like right here, and you've got uh, support with this indicator down here, you've got yourself a move. And to combine everything, you have a one, a two, a three, right here. Look at this. Goes out here, breaks out. Breaks out right at uh, the upper uh, resistant trend line. Here's the upper one. The big gap right there. This is a positive trade. Be tough for it to go wrong. Oh, there's also a flag right here if you want to find out how, long, how far up it'll go. From there to there, measure it. And you get an idea how far it's going to go up. And it turns out it's just about accurate as it can get. Uh, looks like another flag former up here. We'll have to see how it goes. Okay, that's about it for right now. Remember, use your support resistance. They're, they're quite critical. They're easy to draw. Get your close uh, chart, uh, price chart on the, with the closing line only. And you can draw your lines. Gives you an idea of what is happening in the market. Remember, it's all psychological for uh, technical traders anyhow. Fundamentalist, uh, they're a whole different ball game. Okay, that'll do it for right now. Until the next time, uh, this is Dick Toller. You can pick up a lot more on how to trade at my futures blog.com. There's a free ebook there, it's in PDF format. You just uh, click on it, it'll open up. You can save it to your desktop and read it anytime you want. Until the next time again, Victoria here. Good trading to all. Okay, there's one last note I forgot to mention. This one, two, three here, uh, the bull flag, these are all good 
price patterns. I'm a price pattern trader. One thing you have to keep in mind, you do not have to trade every day. You do not have to be in every uh, movement. Just the good ones. You want to trade to win. You don't want to trade just to trade. It gets very expensive because you lose a lot. But if you can figure out how to trade the winning trades, like this one right here, or the bull flag, for instance. Uh, there's some scattered throughout here, but they're not very good. They don't have the indicator support that you need. Always trade when it's profitable. Don't trade when they're born losers. Because there's a lot of them in here. There's all kinds of markets. This is just the sugar. Go to the corn, cattle, feeder cattle, wheat, soybeans, soy oil, uh, soy meal. That's a really good one. Um, silver, gold. Uh, the Forex. Forex is a good one. But you got to be fast on that. This one here. I like commodities pretty well. I used to do really good at sugar, but I picked out the winning trades. That's the tough part. Be patient. Remember, trade to win. Don't trade to trade. That's it for now. Good trading to all, and goodbye for today.